hey guys welcome back to sussex squad forever i hope you're all having an amazing day and guys dr shola is criticizing the uk for its racism she is saying that the uk was a cesspit of racism before harry and megan came along it's just that harry and megan exposed the racism you know to tell people this is what is happening it's not this is exactly what has been happening here's what dr shola had to say i think the bottom line for this documentary is that it was not only incredibly well streamed the content itself for a lot of people came across as powerful because mm. they were telling their side of the story and responding to a lot of the information that had come out from the royal family against them, about them. And it was the first time, for instance, them also responding to the, the, but the they reception. they weren't questioned they all, forensically by but, anybody, but, were but they? But they were responding to also the reactions from the Oprah interview. And when you say nobody was forensically interviewing yeah. them... It wasn't an I'm investigative sorry. documentary. Well, thank it you. It was not meant to be an investigative documentary. And the royal family has never been forensically interviewed about things that they have released about Harry and, and Meghan. So I think it should work both ways. And okay. I don't think this was meant to be investigative. It was meant to be them telling... An observation and, of and their they story. Also, they also yeah. had experts on there to talk about the impact of the environment in terms of Brexit, in term, and the culture in terms of racism. I think and that, all of that spoke it, strongly. I, I mean, I thoroughly enjoyed the documentary and I think putting their situation in context and bringing up all these other issues was incredibly compelling. And actually, I think just Netflix has it absolutely but if it had been a panorama... It's the music as well that gets me. I'm in there with the music. If it had been a panorama, all those claims would have been tested. Of course they would, but it wasn't none a of the claims were tested. But it wasn't so a panorama. I agree, it's really, really powerful. I know it's really, I know it's really powerful, yeah. but I also think that it's been quite damaging internationally because for of all the... For the country, this in the image of us as a country... OK, well, well that's... You can't... Um, I am uh, not going to blame aside. Harry and Meghan for the impact and choices made by people in the royal family, people what about in the their media... No, let me, no, let, let me, been, let me finish. I'm not going to blame them for that because this country was already in a cesspit of racism and race relations issue before they came, before they so showed up. So you're saying that we too are part of this cesspit then? We, we all are. Well, and see, we, I we, take we, issue we, with that because you don't know we, me no, and you're making an assumption about... But it's about, about the individual, it's about a general... Exactly, I'm talking about collective responsibility and I'm also talking about individual responsibility. What do we as individuals do when we vote in people who are not interested in protecting others, who are interested in pushing against the marginalised... It's not generalisation. It's, it's not generalisation it because it all rolls on. It has a roll-on impact. Brexit itself helped to push divisive rhetoric in this country that impacted marginalised people. And that's because some of us, and I say some because I most definitely did not, voted in a party that is not fit to function. This is part of the problem. So I'm talking about collective responsibility and individual responsibility. I, I love don't need to know debate. you personally. Yeah. I'm talking about myself too. What am I I, making I just love the fact that when you don't know it, them, I think is a really dangerous thing to do. And I wouldn't make an assumption about you. I've not I made an assumption about you. I've made a I'm correct part assumption. Of this cesspit, apparently. I have made a correct assumption about our country. Yeah, your opinion. You've no, made, no, no, you, no. You I have voiced made, an opinion. I most definitely have made. Okay, we're the, moving. The we're moving off topic, topic but I do race race love how Shola managed to get criticism of the government in about a documentary over Meghan and Harry. That was very impressive. And guys. Harry and Meghan deserved the award. Dr. Shola says they were responding to all the stories that came out about them in the tabloids. Everything the royal family had leaked, they were responding to it through the Harry and Meghan docuseries. And for all these people saying that they do not deserve an award, that documentary was a well made non-fiction documentary it was all about truth shining light on everything that the sussexes went through during their time in the uk and also you know dr shola says they were answering the backlash that came from their opera interview so guys i don't know why we keep denying it why do we keep denying all these things? The UK has proven its racism by how they treated Meghan Markle. It's not something that started yesterday or the day before. 
this is something that has been going on and Harry and Meghan just sh- they shined a light on it they decided to expose it that like we are not going to hide our experience anymore we are going to let the entire world know exactly what went down and this is what is making the royal family mad and all these haters that they have been exposed for their indecency their racism their discrimination all of these things have been let out now the world knows exactly how the british royal family runs things how racist they are all of these things have been exposed and that is why these people are so mad but dr shola has said this is not something that started when harry and megan came this has been going on since time in memorial and the good thing is that Harry and Meghan decided to acknowledge that this is something that is actually happening something needs to change and that's what kick started all these conversations and these people are hating on Harry and Meghan because they have broached a subject that most people do not want to discuss racism so guys dr shola has said harry and meghan's docu series was incredible it deserves the award that it got and racism was in the uk way way before the sussexes moved in she says i totally agree with shola i was shocked at the amount of racism just in my own city as soon as i as leave one i knew there were some racists there always are but the sheer amount of hate that came from my fellow welshmen had me crying tears of shame still does another person here says so the topic is megan yet again while the country's media rot rises to the force dr shola please ask vine why he's stuck on repeat and platforming the hunting and stalking of a woman who has long left the uk honestly megan has left the uk but these people will still discuss about her day in day out there is no rest for the duchess of sussex because all these people will just be talking about her nonstop 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 and it's tiring honestly it's really really tiring and here says two neo nazis were found guilty and are awaiting sentences sentencing they attacked prince archie calling him an abomination yet people like lori and the rest of the big mouths who are normally quick to discuss everything and anything about the sussexes were silent on the matter the british tabloids will not discuss matters that are actually happening for instance dan wotton is facing serious allegations the two neo nazis i remember james o'brien saying why did it not get the coverage that was needed for people to understand exactly terrorism racism happening in that country now dan wotton a predator no one is talking about it all they're discussing all they're doing is hounding harry and megan for this for that for things that are lies and rumors but they will not discuss real life threatening issues happening in the uk she is trying to gaslight dr shola she wouldn't even let her speak someone here says thank you shola for holding amira up to that woman's face she's trying to br- to blame harry and megan for making the country look bad the british exit alone made that country look bad the fact that harry and megan had to leave the uk to escape from all the racism all the hurt all the discrimination all the bullying they were going through already gave the british a bad name because for someone to pack up and leave just shows the gravity of what they were going through and not enough is being said about this matter honestly the sussexes went through so much but the tabloids who are in bed with the royal family are trying so hard to bury everything the sussexes underwent so that they can make it look like it's their fault but guess what harry and megan did face racism harry and megan were mistreated and bullied by the royal family and the tabloids and that is why they had to leave and dr shola says this was something that has been there this was something that was there before harry and megan <clears throat> even showed up 
and it needs to change something needs to change it says it's get, it gets so tiring listening to women not affected by racism bring down women who have to face it live with it work around it each and every day shouting well it's not me isn't the end of the argument she thinks it is this white woman could not understand because she does not experience the same thing women of color experience in the UK that's why she's so quick to dismiss so quick to you know sweep it under the rug but dr shola made her point she's like you know what this is something that has been happening and it needs to be acknowledged it's not something that started yesterday you know it's been going on it's been going on for so many years and something needs to change and harry and megan leaving the uk just you know set the rolling stone you know to have this conversations to acknowledge these things that are actually happening we can see now the royal family is being asked to take part in diversity training to have a more diverse staff all of these things because harry and megan spoke out they acknowledged it they told the world this is exactly what's happening in the uk do not be deceived do not be deceived all is not well so guys please leave a comment down below on what you think about this like share and subscribe and i hope to see you guys in the next episode bye